friend. I'm excited about um, what God wants to do with us on tonight. So before we do anything else, even as we have been in this series of prayer, let's pray. Amen. Lord, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. God, we thank you for this is a day that you've made. And God, we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we come to you, Lord God, on one accord yes. and one mind, God, just to give you glory, just to give you praise, God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you, who you are, Father, and who you are in our lives, God. We thank you, Lord God, for being the great I am. We thank you, Lord, for being our provider. We thank you, Lord, for being our comforter. We thank you, Father, for being our friend, God. We thank you, Lord God, for being our defender, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, yes. for all that you have done, all that you are going to do. We thank you for keeping keeping our, our, our families. We thank you for keeping our minds. We thank you, Father God, for keeping our peace, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that we come God, with thanksgiving in our hearts and thanksgiving, Father God, with our worship and with our praise, just to give you adoration, Lord God, for there is none that is greater than yes. you, that is none that is mightier than you, Father. So God, before we do anything else, God, we've come to just communicate and commune with you and to give you reverence and to give you yes. praise, God. We thank you, Lord God, for being the head of our lives. We thank you, Father, for being the one that answered our prayers. We thank you, Lord God, for being the God that order our footsteps. We thank you, Father God, for being the one that's concerned about oh, us, God. We thank you, oh. Father, for being the one that keep us, Father. We thank you, Father, for being the one that opened doors and shut doors, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for being the one that's the destiny door of our life, God, that you open doors for us that no man can close, God. We just say thank you, God. We thank you, Father God, for keeping us safe up and down the dangerous highway highways we thank you god for keeping up keeping us safe up and down even the airways father we thank you father for just being our friend. We thank you, Father, for being our comforter. We thank you, Father, for being our keeper. We thank you, Father yes. God, for being the one, Father God, that stays with us as close as a brother, Father God, a nurturer like a mother, Father God, a protector like a father, God. We thank you, Lord thank God, you. that you are all in everything that we need. So on tonight, we say thank you. Thank you. We come to give you praise. We yes, come to God. lift up the name of Jesus. There is no name that is greater than you. There is no name that is higher than you, Father. Father, for you are the great I am. You are El Shaddai, Father. You are El Denai. You are all that we need, God. We say thank you, Lord God. So God, as we come to give you thanks, God, we come together, Lord God, to ask that you would touch each and every household that is represented, Father, those that are online and those that are in person, God, that you would meet every need of every household. Father, we thank you for every husband. We thank you for every wife. We thank you for every son. We thank you for every daughter. We thank you, Father God, for every niece, for every nephew, for every friend, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you find us, Father God, as your sons and your daughters. We thank you, Lord God, for putting us together with a group of believers and a family, Lord God, that we can belong to, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have allowed us to come together, Lord God, to seek your face, Lord God, and to hear from you. So God, I thank you now that you have prepared our hearts and our minds to be receptive to what you want to say and speak to us on tonight, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that as we continue Continue to dive into prayer, Lord God, that you would give us a hunger after prayer, a thirst after prayer, Lord God, like we've never had before, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we would know how to communicate you, communicate with you effectively, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are giving us strategy and wisdom, Father yes. God, on how to seek your face, God, how to war in the spirit, Lord God, how to, Father God, decree and declare for things to be so, Lord God. Father God, how to, Father God, to even pray for things, Lord God, that we do not see, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing in our lives, God. We thank you for what you are doing in Kingdom Well. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in the community of Baton Rouge. We thank you for what you're doing in the state, God. We thank you for what you're doing in the country. Even when man says no, God, you still say yes. yes so even when man have come to close doors, God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are the one that gives the open doors, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that there are resources, God, and there are yes that are saved up, not just for us, but for our children and for our children's children, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that even though there has been things that have been voted on, Lord God, that seem like it has not been our way, but we thank you, God, that we are not citizens of this land, for we are citizens of the kingdom of God. Yes, and God, God, as we are here, all things work together for our goodness. good. All things work together yes, for our good. So God, we thank you, Lord God, that even in the midst of what we may see, that we are protected, we are provided for God, we have the 
resources that we need, Lord God. Everything that we need is in our hands, God, and in our community, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that we are answers, Lord God, to all of the problems that may occur, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we are the answers. We thank you, Father, that we are the answers, yes, God. God. We thank you that we are the answers. We We're are answers the answer. to problems in our communities. We're answers to problems in our country. We're answers to problems that may occur in our families, Lord God. We are the answers. So, God, we thank you, Lord, thank you, God. that you have made us the answers. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, that you are downloading strategies to us, Lord God spiritual strategies, God. I ask that you would tune our ears, Lord God, that we may hear from you, Holy Spirit, that it may be clear, that it would no longer be cloudy, Lord God, but it would be clear for every decision, for every direction of our lives, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that we seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, God, and all things will be added unto us. So God, we give you all the glory and we give you all the praise. We thank you for what you're going to do in this Bible study. We thank you, Father God, for the vessel that you will use on tonight to bring forth your word. God, we thank you, Lord God, that she will go forth with clarity and with boldness and with confidence of who you are, Lord God. And God, we thank you for what you are going to do. And we thank you for even what you're going to do on Sunday. And it's in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 So powerful, powerful prayer. So those for us joining us tonight, we've been teaching for the last couple of weeks from the Prayer Warriors Way by Dr. Cindy Trim. Um, so if you have not read this book or you don't have this book, I encourage you to get this book. We already know that Dr. Cindy Trim is a powerful intercessor. So tonight we'll be hearing a special treat, a special word from Minister Kim Christie. She'll be teaching from this book as well. So um, we have about four chapters left in this book. So the next Bible study will be closing out on prayer. So uh, Minister Kim Christie, will you take it away and share what God has imparted to you? Amen. And you can come off mute. <laughs> Okay, I am here. There you go. <laughs> I was kind of expecting something different, but here we go. Yes. Let me get situated here, and uh, we're going to hear what thus saith the Lord. Father, I pray that I will decrease and you will increase, and the people will hear from you and not from me. Okay, as Pastor Will was saying, tonight's lesson is from the Prayer Warriors Way, Strategies from Heaven, from Intimate Communication with God by Dr. Cindy Trim. My assignment tonight is chapters five and six, and if you haven't read those chapters, I encourage you to do so. I am teaching from those chapters from the outline, but I kind of like added list something something to it uh the title of this teaching is next level we know how the bible begins with the famous words in the beginning god god is the first character we encounter in the bible in genesis 127 it says that god created man in his own image so the big question is, why did God create man? Why did God create man in his image? God walked with Adam in the cool of the day. Amos 3.3 3 says, can two walk together except they agree? So God wanted relationship with man. And we had to be in God's image for agreement. Some of you may know my testimony. I was restored to the body of Christ in 2019. My first assignment was to develop a relationship with God. So one morning I was praying and the Lord asked, why do you want a relationship with me? Of course, I'm thinking, well, God, that's what you told me to do. But I said, because I love you. Then he asked, 
why do you love me? Well, I can't remember exactly what I said, but the first, but the first answer, he says, nope, wrong answer. Second answer, he says, nope, wrong answer. Then I thought a minute and I pondered. And I said, ah, oh, I love you because you first loved me. And that was the right answer. So after that, I began laying in the floor. My only prayer was, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. Finally, the Lord released me and I would sit in a chair knowing I was to pray, but could not utter a word. Then one morning, the Lord told me to get on my knees and pray. In other words, we will not be successful pursuing God in our own strength. God gives us what we need so we can know him. What is our commitment to building a relationship with God? We want to be used of God, but we must have clean hands and pure heart, according to Psalms 24 and 4. We must prepare before opportunity comes. Proverbs 18 and 16 says, our gift will make room for us. So in chapter 5, Dr. Cindy Trim opens it with scripture, Matthew 6, 11. Give us this day our daily bread. In the Hebrew and Greek, bread literally means food. Symbolically, it also means provision. In John 6, 35, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And we find in Matthew 15, verses 24 through 26, the story about the Canaanite woman who was seeking deliverance for her daughter from a demon. Jesus said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. So we see that the supernatural is the children's bread. So why are we not seeing more of the supernatural in our lives and churches? One thought is we pray and move in ministry as Jesus did his earthly ministry. And we'll try to explain that. We relate to Jesus as if Jesus was walking here on earth. In John chapter five, verses 19 and 20. So Jesus explained. Oh, if you guys wanna um, turn to that, it's John chapter five, verses 19 and 20. So Jesus explained, I'm reading from New Living Translation. I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the father doing. Whatever the father does, the son also does. For the father loves the son and shows him everything he is doing. In fact, the father will show him how to do even greater works than healing this man then you will truly be astonished. According to Acts 2.33, Jesus is seated, is seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus and the Father are having face-to-face -face conversations. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. There is a realm of relationship with God where we are in the heavenly presence of God. How do we get there? And then again, this is following pretty good with the chapter. Uh, turn with me to Luke chapter 11, verses 5 through 10, New Living Translation. Then teaching them more about prayer, he used this story. 
Suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight, wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You say to him, a friend of mine has just arrived for a visit and I have nothing for him to eat. And suppose he calls out from his bedroom, don't bother me, the door is locked for the night and my family and I are all in bed, I can't help you. But I tell you this, though he won't do it for friendship's sake, if you keep knocking long enough, he will get up and give you whatever you need because of your shameless persistence. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Now, I like to use um, Moses' tabernacle as an example of getting into God's presence. We know we have the outer court, the holy place, and the holy of holies. In the outer court, we are asking. In the holy place, we are seeking. And in the Holy of Holies, we are knocking. Asking is the first realm. Seeking is the second realm. And knocking is the third realm. I recall when Pastor Vivica introduced the, teach, the teaching on prayer to us, she mentioned that there are different levels. And I would submit Sometimes if you have an idea of where you're trying to get to, it will motivate you to do more so you can get to that place. In the asking realm, the first realm, the flesh is involved. We confess sin. We ask for cleansing. We make requests concerning our needs. In the asking realm, there is no presence of God. And the challenge is, if we only experience outer court prayer, we will get tired easily. The symptoms of the first realm, cold heartedness, double minded. We pray with vain repetitions. We're constantly harassed by the devil. Our hearts are empty. We have troubled minds, signs of bondage, easily distracted. We're tired of our Christian walk because we have wearied ourselves in the outer court. The flesh is in control. But then we transition into the second realm when we are quickened or revived. In other words, when you decide you're going to follow Jesus, God will quicken you and says, okay, it's time for you to go a little further. But when you're in the place of not really trying to get free of what keeps tripping you up, you're going to find yourself circling in that first round. In the seeking round, the second round, the soul is involved. Matthew 6, 33, New Living Translation. It says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. See, the asking ram is for baby saints, new Christians, new converts. They're learning to walk with God. They don't know. But there comes a place in your walk with God where you realize, I don't have to ask for my bills to be paid. God's going to pay them. Because God is not a man that he should lie. He's not the son of man that he should repent. Right here in the Bible, 633, it says, when you seek me, you don't have to ask for your basic needs. They will be taken care of. So when we seek, we enter into the holy place. Psalms 40, verses 1 through 2. 
It says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. So in the second realm, we receive deliverance. In other words, God's going to set you free from that stuff you've been struggling with because you, you made up your mind, I'm going to follow Jesus. Our minds become quiet. We move into deeper worship. And the quieter our soul is, the deeper our worship goes. God cannot move and speak to a mind and a soul that's in chaos. In the second realm, we get to know the heart of God. We learn the treasure and the richness of God. We seek fellowship with God. We develop intimacy with God. Jesus nudges us. He pulls us away from certain things. It's a drawing process. We begin to hunger for the presence of God. We seek God with our spirit. God wants the best. And we desire God with our soul. Matthew 5 and 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So we will not go back, um, excuse me, Psalms 80 and 18 says, so we will not go back from thee, quicken us, revive us, and we will call upon thy name. As the Lord quickens us, we begin to call on Jesus. He becomes more real. His presence penetrates our heart. We begin to know the mind of Christ. And Isaiah 26, 7 and 8 says, The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright does weigh the path of the just. Yes, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. So the, these passages of scripture, it talks about being quickened and about waiting on the Lord. Because when we move from the second realm to the third realm, God beckons us. Jesus says, come follow. It's not you seeking God. It's God seeking you to seek him. If you guys will turn to Psalms 42, verses 1 and 2. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Here David is longing for God. His soul is craving. He is thirsty. He is asking, when will I appear before you? So again, in this transition into the third realm, God takes the lead. We follow Jesus into the Holy of Holies. The only thing we can do to transition to the third realm is be consistent in the second realm. When you are ready and God says it's time, God will draw you. So in the third realm or the knocking realm, the spirit is involved. Just a quick review. The first realm is asking. The flesh is involved. The second realm is seeking. The soul is involved. The third realm is knocking. It's the spirit. And as we read in Psalms 42, the minute the deer finds the water, the enemy cannot find him. The water hides the scent of the deer. 
Psalms 91 and 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we abide in the secret place, the only place to hide from the devil is in the secret place. The devils are gone and we keep demons away by abiding in God. It's the third realm is a place of secrecy when we receive heavenly secrets from God. And the hiding place is the Lord himself. We develop true intimacy with God. This is the place of intercession, the highest spiritual attainment. God makes you his partner. We are in heavenly agreement. We become God's prayer partner. He uses the Holy Spirit in us to agree with him. And then God says yes to himself. It takes time before we get the breakthrough to where the presence of God becomes the norm of life. We experience trickles of God's presence before the breakthrough. We are knocking to sit next to him, not to get things. Each plateau in God requires a new seek. The place of knocking is a place of communion and intimacy. God requires that our hearts belong to him 100%. He wants total surrender. You must say yes and mean it. God removes the obstacles to the death of to the depth of his presence. Walking with Jesus is an uphill battle. A time will come when we will walk beside him. The abundance of provision is the result of access, the running over of God's presence. Seek first the kingdom and everything else will be added. In that third round, it comes, it just overflows because why we are seated in Christ, in the heavenlies, having conversations with God. We can live in the third realm day and night when we learn to pray without ceasing. The price we pay is our time. What happens in the Holy of Holies or the third realm? Through the ministry of love, we experience the supernatural. In abiding, we are purged from the consciousness of dead works. We are transformed. We become broken and walk in humility. We fall flat on our face and worship. The Bible says those who hunger and thirst after righteousness will be filled. The third realm is for all believers. And Song of Solomon's verse five and four says, my lover tried to unlatch the door and my heart thrilled within me. Hunger for God is a sign of life in a believer. So that's what I have for chapter five. And we move on to chapter six, where Dr. Trim opens up uh, with the name of the chapter is Freedom for All. And in speaking about freedom from bondage in God's presence is where we have liberty. Away from God's presence we find ourselves in bondage. If the sun makes you free, you are free indeed. God purges sin away from us for relationship with him because he is holy. Prayer gives us strength to let go of the things that come between us and God. And then Dr. Trim goes into forgiveness. Uh, if you would turn to me to with me to Mark 
chapter 11, verse 25. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. And let's take a look at Matthew chapter 5, 5 verses 23 and 24. So if you are presenting a sacrifice at the altar in the temple and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you, leave your sacrifice there at the altar, go and be reconciled to that person, then come and offer your sacrifice to God. So not only do we have to forgive, we also have to reconcile with those we have offended. Remember, I was telling you guys about the time I was just laying the floor saying God created me a clean heart. Well, he did give me instruction to go apologize to someone. Something that happened ooh, over 20 years ago. And I had no idea that the person was holding a grudge. But God told me I had to go apologize so that the other person could get free. After all those years, 20 years still holding a grudge. And I think the beauty in that is when you want to be clean, when you want to be pure before God, he will give you instructions of exactly what it is that you need to do. And not only that, the Lord's prayer says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So the Lord's prayer teaches us to forgive others as God has forgiven us. Unforgiveness limits the collective progress of the kingdom. It disrupts unity and agreement. Forgiveness reflects the character of God. And Dr. Trim closes chapter six with love. God flows through love. Love for God's people is the key to the supernatural. Not love for power, not love to be popular, not love to be seen, but love for God's people is the key to the supernatural. My prayer always is God, do it for your people. Let's turn in our Bibles for, uh, to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. So if we truly love God, we truly want to learn of God, it is a lifelong journey. We have to apply what we receive. We don't go to the doctor and ask for medicine, then leave the medicine on the table. God says, follow. He doesn't say where we are going. We just have to trust him. The greatest power God has given to man is prayer. It is prayer that gives us access to God's power. So I did a little differently, but my points were ask, seek, knock, love, and forgive. And amen. That is all I have for you on tonight. Amen and amen.
What a powerful word on tonight. That was so awesome, Minister Kim. I love, ask, seek, knock, love, and forgive. Listen, ask, seek, knock, knock love, love, and forgive. forgive. Those are some things we can definitely hold on to as we are growing in our walk with Christ, as we all grow in him. Um, it was just so many profound points that you made. Um, even when you're thinking about, I, I wanted to pose, you know, I always pose a question to you guys. It's like, where are you? Where are you? And the analogy she gave to Moses Tabernacle, are you in the outer courts? Are you in the inner courts? Are you in the holy of holies? And the most important part is where do you want to be? So assess where you are and then say, where do you want to be? If you wanted to be in that holies of holies, if I'm wanting to be at the place where I am knocking, I want to be connected to the Holy Spirit, then how do I get there? And so Minister Kim told you that that's that consistency that you have to get there. Prayer is not something that we do when we are just asking for something. We're not, prayer is not something that we do when we need, just need something from God, but it is the way that we allow our hope, the Holy Spirit to connect to us so that we can grow in him. So an amazing job, Minister Kim. I'm so proud of you. I'm smiling over here from ear to ear. You did a fantastic job. Um, and I know that each and every one of us that heard this word on tonight um, is blessed by it. So as we move to um, now our time of giving, um, one of the things that we teach here at Kingdom Well is don't hear a word and it resonate with you. If it's something that you know, hey, I need to grab onto that word and implement it and make it a part of my life, plant a seed on that word. Amen. And so um, we want to give you an opportunity to give. And there are a few ways that you can give here at Kingdom Well. Um, Pastor Will is going to post that on up for you guys. So the four ways that you can give at the well is um, through PayPal. You can give through Zelle. You can give through Cash App. And for those that are here, you can give in person. And so um, PayPal, that, that email address is up there for you as, as, the well, as well as the Zelle. That was a tie. Um, twister there and also the cash app handle as well so we want to give you a few minutes to do that um, for you to sow into um, the word that you received on tonight and um, I'll give you a few minutes to prepare your offering oh, with Chris when you need it amen <laughs> All right, all right. Well, we hope that you have um, an opportunity to give. I promise you that you're giving into good ground. Um, I want to leave you with a few announcements before we um, close on tonight. And so the um, first announcement is that you know that we have our worship encounter services this Sunday. Woo! July the 9th at 3 o'clock p.m. Excited. At the Baton Rouge Arts Council Center downtown. That is 233 St. Ferdinand Street. I think I have yes. that correct. Um, we hope to see those who are in state um, there to worship with us um, as we come and have an encounter with God. Um, also, there um, on our social media pages, you should there will be a link that you can register for the service so we can make sure that we have an account and a seat for you. So please register. And there is also a flyer that is going around on social media. Please share that on your social media pages. Amen. Let me pray over your seat for those who have um, sewed on tonight. Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for 
those who have sowed a seed on tonight, God, I ask that you will, God, allow it to bring a harvest into their life. God, I ask, Lord God, that for what they have given, that you will double fold it back into them, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you have given them more than enough. Their lack will never be a part of their household, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you will give them um, the ability to be resources, Father, for those that are in need, for those that um, may lack, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you always take care of us and you are our provider. So God, I thank you that you are provided to each and every one of us. I ask that you will bless their seed in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. 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 Um, so that is um, our announcements for service on Sunday. Also, we will have Bible study where we will end this series on the third Wednesday of this month. Um, it will be same time, eight o'clock. You can come in person or you can log on on Zoom. And that date is on July the 19th. We will end the series on prayer. Amen. Yeah. Um, for those who want to catch up on the series for the ones that we have done. Those are posted on our YouTube page, as well as our um, worship and counter service that you can check out as well. Amen. Amen. I hope that you have gotten something that you, as my mom would say for you can chew on for the rest of the week <laughs> um, that can carry you until Sunday. Um, I really want you to think as you're spending time with the Lord, like, where am I? Where do I want to be? Um, act, seek, knock, love, and forgive. Um, so I am going to end with um, prayer. But before I do that, I want to give, um, if there's anybody that need prayer, um, we want to pray with you on tonight. So you can come off mute and ask for prayer. You can put it in the chat. But I want to give um if there's anybody that need prayer, that we can cover you in prayer. We are a praying church. And so um, if more prayer means more power. So um, you can't have any power if you don't have any prayer. So we want to pray and, and agree with what you may need or what you may need us to cover if you have a prayer request on tonight. We have one. Yes. We are dealing with our youngest triplet. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what phase he's in, but mm -hmm. it's a defiance. There's sometimes even what I can see a demonic presence mm -hmm. in him. Um, so the Carl and I need support and prayer in mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. um, specifically for him, because okay. his presence is becoming toxic within the other children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Tell me his name. I get all their names. Cohen. Cohen. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Cohen. Pray for Cohen. We're going to pray for Cohen before he leaves. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Anybody else have any prayer requests? Okay. All right. Well, let's um let's pray. And I'll also use this as our closing prayer as well. Lord, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. God, we thank you for the time that we've had with you on tonight. God, we thank you, Lord, for um, your vessel, your woman of God that you've used on tonight to pour into us. God, I ask that you will pour back into her, Father, everything that she's poured into us. God, we thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing in her life and what you are called her to, God. I thank you, Lord God, that you will bless her indeed, Father. I thank you for new revelation and insight of your word. I thank you, Father God, for even her being into a deeper level of prayer, Father, taking her to a deeper place of the holies of holies with you. God, I ask God that you will take each and every one of us, God, to a deeper place with you, God, that we may hear you, God, that our spirit will connect to your spirit, God, that our soul will align with your spirit, God, that we'll be consistent, Father God, in our pursuit of you, God, that we may pursue you, Lord God, like never before, Lord God, that we will make um, the Holy Spirit within us will begin to make intercession for us, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray now, Father, for Cole and God, we thank you, Father, that God, that he is a, a son of yours, Father. God, I thank you, Father, that God, that you will begin to bless his mother and his father, that God, that you will give them, Father God, wisdom, Lord God, yes. and direction, God, to how to parent him, yes. how to cover him, how to love him, how to nurture him, how to discipline him, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you will speak to, to him, God, and God, that you will deal 
Father God, with any concern, Father, that he is having on the inside, God, I ask that you would touch his emotions, you would touch his thoughts, you would touch his spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you that your word says, God, that because his mom is saved and sanctified, God, that he's covered by you, yes. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and God, I thank you, Lord God, that, Father, he will be used by you, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, that the blood of Jesus now, Father God, will begin to flow through him, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that you would protect him from any snare of the enemy, Father. Yes. I thank you, Lord God, that your word says suffer and bring the little children unto you. So God, we bring him to you and we lay him at the yeah, altar, Father God. And we good. thank you, Lord God, that there is no demonic force. There is no witchcraft. There is no principality. There is nothing that's that good. can come against him, Father. I thank you now, Lord God, that as his parents begin to intercede for him and cover him in prayer, Lord God, that because their intercession, God, will make room, Lord God, that it will begin to do what needs to be done in his life, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. If there's anything, Father God, that has has that are unknown to them, God, that it would be uncovered, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, Lord God for him. I thank you even for his siblings, God, that they will even begin to have patience with him, Father God, in this growth phase that he's in, Lord God, that God, I thank you, Lord, that he is know that he is loved, that he is called by you. He is loved by you. He is loved by his family. He is loved, Father God, Father, by his friends. He is loved by his church family, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that God, that anything that the enemy is attempting to do, it has failed now in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you, Lord God, for every child that is connected to kingdom well and every child that is connected on this Bible study now, God, that we cover our kids, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that nothing shall come against them in the yes, name of God, Jesus. Yes. I thank you that there will be, Father God, no attacks, Father. I thank you that there is no abuse that can come near them, Father. I yes. thank you, Lord God, that there is no principality that can come yes, near them, God. Father, but that the blood of Jesus is around them, that the angels will cover them and keep them, Father. I thank you now that even as they, before they get to school in August, God, that you will put them in the right teacher's class, God, that you will give them favor with the, for the teachers, favor with the administrators, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that they'll be able to excel in their academics, God, that things will come to them easy. God, touch their IQ yes. level now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that they are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that they're kingdom kids. Yes, and God, God, because they're kingdom kids, they are protected by you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that yes. you will be with them, Lord God, in every door that they walk in and every door that they walk out of, Lord God, that the light of the Lord will, will shine around them in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that our children, Father, will be representatives of the kingdom, that they will, they will pray, they will, be, they will be intercessors, they will be worshipers, God, they will be prophets and prophetess, they will be evangelists, they will be pastors. Father God, I thank you, Lord thank God, you, God, that they will be a light in every room that they walk in, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you, Lord God, that you will protect them even in the nighttime hour. I bind nightmares in the name of Jesus. I thank you now that there will be angels over their bedposts that will keep them and protect them, Father, that they will, there will be no fear, Father God, around them, Lord God, they will sleep peacefully, Father, in the name of Jesus. We bless your name for our children on yes, tonight, sir. God. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 You know, guys, it is... um. Hmm. On Sunday, we were at our spiritual at our home church um, in Mississippi with our spiritual father, and um, Bela had walked up to me and asked. First, she walked up to me and said she just wanted a mama, but then um, she wanted me to pray for her, and so I prayed for Vela. And then, after praying for Vela, all of the little kids in the church, the whole church, all came up for prayer. And I was literally sitting on the floor for about 30 minutes praying for kids and babies. And I mean, they were just so sincere and wanted to be touched by God. And so there were many I just held and hugged. And so um, I was talking to, um, I call my spiritual father dad. And so I was talking to dad after service and he was like, the kids are coming. And he was like, you know, you have to teach them. And so I don't find it coincidence that you're asking, hey, let's cover Cohen on tonight. And so we have to cover our kids. Um, they are 
um, they a lot of times don't have all of the language that we have when something is wrong. And so we have to pray for them so that we can be in tune to the Holy Spirit to know what we need to cover, when we need to cover, um, so that we can come against any attack that may be trying to reach our children. Um, but these babies, they are special. And so um, for those of you that are parents, for those that you are connected to any kid's life, pray for them, cover them um, so that they are protected by the blood of the lamb. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us on tonight. Um, I'm so glad that you took some time out on your Wednesday night to come into Bible study with us. Um, thank you again, Minister Kim, for the word on tonight. And so we look forward to seeing all of you on Sunday. And for those that cannot come for our amazing Kingdom Well uh, members, our E members that are in Georgia and Virginia, log on to YouTube. We'll get that the sermon, the um, service up as soon as we can for you later during that week so you can watch um, the service on Sunday. We love you guys. We pray that you have a great rest of your week and we will see you soon. Have a great night.